Sunday might have been a bad day for Celtic Football Club and their fans, but there could be a good day coming because Gremio striker Luis Suarez could be on his way to Parkhead. What? What's that? I hear people saying, yes, there's rumours floating about, and, you know, folk football, we address these rumours, all right? We get these rumours out and we address them. And you know what? It would be a great signing for not only Celtic, but for Scottish football, for the league. Now, Luis Suarez, just to give you a wee quick update, he is 36, he would be 37 in the 24th of January. Now, he is linked with a mega move to um, into Miami in here. I think literally the only thing that's linking Luis Suarez to a move to Celtic is the fact that Brendan Rodgers managed Celtic. And of course, if you don't know... Brendan Rodgers managed him as we Liverpool spell, where he scored 69 goals and 110 appearances. You know, Luis Suarez, 483 games, 381 goals. That's kind of a wee bit shocking for me, if I'm being honest. He's actually missed quite a lot of games. He must have. I mean, he's 36. You'd expect him to play more than that. I mean, he's been playing, what, for the past 18 years? We wrap up those sort of numbers. I mean, I don't think that's a wee bit poor for him. I mean, the goals are good, but the, uh, in terms of appearances, uh, now for Gremio, this is mo most recently, he did play for Nassiana. So he scored eight goals in 14 games for them, but for Gremio, he played 45 games and scored 24 goals. What would he do in the Scottish Premiership? This diving, cheating bastard playing for Celtic, I don't know if my heart could take it. I don't know if it could, because this guy would be winning penalties left, right, and centre. He'd be taking chunks out of fucking Connor Goldson. And all this shit, all that shit that bloody Luis Suarez does, and it would be absolutely mental to see him in Scottish football. Now, theoretically, he's 36. He's nowhere near the player that he once was. But I would still say he's still quite good. Um, I mean, theoretically, when you look at what, when Ramsey came to Rangers, he was a quite a lot younger, but I think by that point, Ramsey was done. Uh, and he showed that. I mean, uh, if it was between uh, Aaron Ramsey and Luis Suarez to score a... F, uh, a Europa League winning penalty, I'd probably go with Luis Suarez, uh, but uh, sadly it didn't go that way. But what do Celtic fans think of this? Now, he is a free agent right now, but his last team was at Gremio, which of course I've already talked about the records. But it's not that I don't think Celtic can facilitate Luis Suarez, it's just we enter Miami sniffing about, you know, a return pretty much with the prime Barcelona team for like eight, ten years ago. Um, I think that's more likely to happen here. Maybe he wants to test himself in Scottish football. I, I I don't know what Luis Suarez's fucking agendas are, guys, but I think there's no reason. I mean, if Celtic have 72 million in the bank, there's no reason why they, they couldn't afford Luis Suarez for, you know, six months to the end of this season. There's no reason. Because he's played for all these South American teams and they're not going to be forking out hundreds of thousands a week. So for me, obviously, I don't want the, I don't want it to happen, but it would get eyes on Scottish football. I, I can't deny that. Same way Aaron Ramsey did. Um, good thing for Celtic, though, is they're out of Europe, so Luis Suarez can't cost him any penalties in European finals, but he could cost him... I mean, I think if they signed Suarez, that would probably be the... You know, that would get Celtic over the line. Um, of course, there is... I mean, the Rangers have got to sign players as well, but... We need strikers, and if they bring in Suarez, who are Rangers realistically going to be able to bring in to replicate something in this league? But, you know, he can do it in La Liga. He can do it in the Premier League. He can do it in the Champions League. But can he do it in the SPFL? We'll have to wait and see. But until next time, guys, peace.